Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for watching our two videos where we try Indian snack foods and today we get to try a real Indian dish. We're going to try butter chicken with basmati rice and naan and we got this from a local Indian restaurant in our area called the Bombay Gardens and it's the owner is from Punjab which is one of the states in India in the north close to Pakistan. It's between Delhi and Jammu and Kashmir and I understand that butter chicken is from Delhi originally so this is a North Indian dish originally and so we're so excited to try some real Indian food I made sure to tell them very mild on the spice because as all of you know from our first video we don't do very well with spicy food and all of you made fun of us for it we also have two desserts to try after that we have some kheer and some gulab jamun which is a rice pudding and also a pastry mini donut in a sweet sauce and so Josiah is excited about trying those ones all right all right let's go to it <laughs> so this is butter chicken you're only trying the butter chicken mm. trouble getting it on my fork that's really good <laughs> What does it taste like? Well, it has some curry in it and it's a real buttery flavor. Mm -hmm. I could probably do a little spicier than this. I told him mild. We could probably do moderate, I think. I would probably um, keep it this way, the mild way. <laughs> now, Josiah's going to try a little basmati rice. A little spicy. A little spicy? Okay. Alright, yeah, let's try some of the naan. Mm. Right, Here it goes. Ew. It's good, it's like pita bread. Mm -hmm. This is a little different than normal bread. Bud, you give mm -hmm. a thumbs up? <laughs> Josiah doesn't like trying anything new. So that's why we started this channel, so he would. Yeah, I would definitely eat this regularly. So we've never been to India. The closest that I've been is the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. And I think they have a lot of Indian influence. And a lot of the foods we had when we were there um, had curry in it and they have a roti that's kind of like this naan and so it reminds me of it reminds me of going to Mauritius years ago all right we're gonna try two Indian desserts now some of you mentioned these in the comments of our first video uh, on things to try and so this first one is a coconut rice pudding it's just like vanilla pudding very sweet mmm Wow, that's really good. I feel like it, it reminds me of something, but I can't think mm. of what it is. In Mexican cuisine, they have a drink called ochata, which is a lot like this. I could eat this all the time. It's a good flavor. Mm. On the kir. And sideways on the kir. We'll convince you of some of these sometime. Now for the gulab jamun. This is like a sweet donut. Mm. I'm messy. <laughs> yeah, I'm messy. <laughs> Our donuts here are more like um, light and fluffy and kind of dry on the inside. Yeah. And these are very, very wet. That's good. Yeah. On the gulab jamun. Oh, he got. He liked it. Oh, good. Nice and sweet. Oh. So the name of the restaurant that we got the food from is called Bombay Gardens. And for our American audience out there, Bombay is the old name of the city of Mumbai. So it was always called Mumbai. You remember Mumbai where VM Beatables is from and where some of the street food videos we watched are from? Okay. It was called Mumbai for a long, long time by the local people. But when the British came to India, they changed the name to Bombay. But in 1995, uh, they changed the name back to the original name of Mumbai. All right, so okay. sometimes you hear Bombay, 
but that is not the proper term. You should always call it Mumbai, all right? There's a couple of cities in India that are like that. It used to be called Calcutta with a C, and now it's called Kolkata with a K. Also, the city of Chennai used to be called Madras, but now we call it Chennai. So, there's also cities like that that are in the United States. Did you know New York City used to be called New Amsterdam because of the Dutch population that came? And so, we call it New York City now. So, kind of cool, but it's always important to call a city by the proper name. Because names are very important. We call it Chennai or... We call it Chennai, Kolkata with a K, and we call it Mumbai. Okay? And New York City. And New York City. Well, thanks for those suggestions, everyone. Please let us know what the next Indian dish that we should try is. Mention it down in the comments below. We really do read all of the comments. We appreciate all of our family from around the world for helping us on our journey as we learn about other countries. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bye, friends. We'll see you next time. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Not so good for the guy. See you again.